More than 12,000 cherry blossom trees line the streets of Kenwood in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Each year when the trees flower, visitors come from all over the area to walk around, take pictures, and even picnic beneath the blossoms. It's, it's really a fairyland here because the trees form a canopy on all the streets, and you're not going to see that at the mall. As soon as the cherry blossoms are out in, uh, at the tidal basin, people know enough to come here now because this is no longer a secret. And a lot of people picnic at, at the park. In fact, there's so many people there that the ice cream truck comes and does a very good business. I have picked up the uh, blossoms off the street and shoved them into an envelope and mailed them to people <laughs> who want to see what the cherry blossoms look like. The Kenwood cherry blossoms are starting to bud and flower, but how will the recent cold snap affect the peak bloom? Well, these are all budded. And you can see a lot of these are tightly budded. Well, cold, cold is really not the best thing for trees. Um, a lot of times, especially when we have a warm, you know, warm spell like we did this February, things tend to leaf out or, or start to really push flowers, um, which is kind of dangerous when you get a cold snap to come through because the cold will just burn the flowers off. We're hoping the cherry blossoms will be okay. Um, they tend to take the cold a little bit better than some of the other plants. Worst case scenario, you, you lose all the flowers. Uh, the trees themselves will be fine. The flowers come out before the leaves do. Uh, it, it'll just be a loss of a bloom this year. It remains to be seen how the recent snows will affect the cherry blossoms. But for the Kenwood trees and their thousands of visitors, let's hope the flowers were able to safely weather the storm. Aaron Lerner, District Wire News.